In the past four years, I have run over 2,000 miles. But I'm an unlikely runner. Prior to 2008, I was very overweight, and I was cooking, baking, and eating constantly, and feeding everyone goodies. I have a big sweet tooth, and back then it really showed. I would make several desserts a week, and I could polish off a whole batch of cookies in one day, and I certainly was not exercising. I was unhappy, and I was unhealthy, and it was definitely time for a change. My husband James says, I simply snapped. I woke up one day and I made one simple decision. I was going to run. When I first made this decision, I was both scared and excited at the same time. I was scared because change is scary, but I was really excited because I'd given myself no other choice. I was going to be a different person. I had a really humble start. I didn't have money for a gym membership. So I dug my shoes out from my closet, and I went out into my neighborhood. At first, I had to walk because I was so overweight and out of shape. Eventually, I was able to run some distances, and I began to feel like I couldn't be stopped. I finally felt like my body was doing what it wanted to do, which was to be active and have exercise. As humans, we're designed for running. Our bodies are actually built for it. And as I continued to run, I noticed that my body was creating this most addictive sort of natural drug, and I began to crave it. And I realized that I didn't just benefit from running for the exercise, but having a healthy body was an incredible tool for moving easier and having confidence and talking to people, wearing fashions and fun clothes and just having a good time. And as I kept going, I realized I didn't want to keep trashing my body with so much junk food. I really wanted to start eating better so I didn't waste all this running I was doing. And I'd still let myself have some treats, but at this, you know, at this point, and just in moderation. Running through my neighborhood began to not be enough. I began hearing about local races like Pat's Run. My first Pat's Run in 2009 was really important to me because it was the first time I felt worthy to attend an organized run, run it, and actually survive it. I was full of emotion as I crossed that first finish line. And I began hearing about another race called the Ragnar Relay. It's a 200 mile overnight race. Oh yeah. I didn't stop to wonder if I could do it. I just began to assume I would do it. And I was inspired by my friend Rob to train for Ragnar. Rob is also an improbable runner because he doesn't fit the mold of your average runner because he's a big guy. But he gets out there and he's doing his best each time. And I knew I could do it if he could. My first Ragnar experience was completely bewildering. I was dehydrated, I was sunburned, I was exhausted, and what in the heck I had gotten myself into? But I finished my portion, all 16 miles, and I couldn't believe I'd trained for something so big and finished. And I began to do other Ragnars and other races. I learned about running culture. I learned about staying positive and keeping myself motivated, and they were fantastic lessons for coping with all of life's other challenges. And I've learned that to stay fit and to stay active, I always have to have another goal to keep me moving. I've done seven Ragnars to date, and my eighth is next month in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. It's not been without stumbling blocks. Despite injuries and dehydration and the challenges of training in Arizona weather, running is still something that I really want to do and that I really look forward to doing. When I first started running, I felt green and uncertain, and I felt completely out of place. But then I realized we're all in a different place. We're each trying to beat our own personal best. Obviously, one of the best parts about running was losing over 100 pounds. And I know, I know that if I want to keep eating dessert, I have to keep running because I'm never going back to the old me. I learned balance in running. I learned that I have to love myself enough to not trash it. And I also learned that I can eat moderately. And you can also do this. All you need is a pair of shoes and the courage to take that first step out the door. You'll definitely lose weight. You'll gain confidence 
and you'll be doing something that your body was designed to do, which you may have never thought possible. <laughs>